All right, common denominator. So uh, in this video, we're not even talking about solving the actual problem. We're just talking about find out what the common denominator is. All right, so we were adding something. That's an ugly three right there. I'll fix it here in a second. Okay, so if we were talking like one third plus three fourths, so we're not talking about what the answer is, we're just talking about the common denominator. So one of the tricky things sometimes in math is that um, the denominator is a word that we don't use any other time except for math. All right, so denominator is the bottom number on this, these fractions, right? The numerator is what's on the top. So common, you know, if you kind of think this out, common denominator, so it's just saying, uh, Right now these are different so we can't add them together so we need these this bottom number the denominator to be the same for both of them okay and so the way we do it is uh finding a way to get these to be the same so on this one like if you don't know like your first choice usually just multiply these two together so three times four is 12 right and that's going to be the correct answer right wasn't that easy um right and we'll talk about how to actually go through the process of solving this uh later right but for right now all i want you to know is that when you're trying to solve for the common denominator this means that both of the numbers on the bottom will be 12. okay so let's look at a different one what if it's two thirds i guess i just want to change to blue here right in the middle two thirds plus three sevenths let's say okay again we look at it and all we're going to do is take this denominator this denominator, multiply them together. Three times seven is 21. There we go. That's our common denominator. Okay, so if you, we'll go ahead and solve, we'll go ahead and solve this one. Okay, so we have two thirds plus three sevenths, right? So if we have the two thirds, right, what we're gonna do is multiply it by seven over seven, right? Because our goal is to get that denominator to be 21. For both of these, right? And if we do that little multiplication, 2 times 7, 14. Now we have 14 over 21. Okay, so 14 over 21, even though it looks very different, and 2 over 3 equal exactly the same thing because we multiplied it by 1, basically. 7 over 7 is 1. Okay, and then we also had 3 fourths, right? So or no, we had uh, three sevenths, sorry. So we have three sevenths up here, right? And then to get 21 on the bottom here, we multiply it by three over three. So we're always multiplying it by one, but just in a fraction form. And three over three equals one, seven over seven equals one, five over five equals one. We just want the same number on the numerator and the denominator, same number on top and bottom. So three times three is nine for 21. Okay, now, now we can actually add these together, right? So we have nine over 21 here, 14 over 21 here, yes? 14 plus nine is 23. And so then, and the bottom number stays the same. So this would actually be the answer. So we did go ahead and solve one of these for you, right? But really the focus of this video, if solving this got confusing the first part really is just knowing how to find the common denominator and that's by you know uh, if there's any doubt at all just multiply the two numbers on the bottom together the two denominators and that will give you the common denominator and that's how we get started in uh, solving these types of problems